supporting and processing. This is step four in the what is inner work and how to do it series. And supporting and processing basically refers to whatever technique or process is being done or that you're using yourself to help the stuff move through your body, to help the emotions resolve, to help you work through what's been brought up in the previous steps. So there's an infinite number of techniques, an infinite number of teachers and teachings out there. But if you're doing a certain process like EFT tapping, for example, or a certain type of meditation, releasing work, and it's not doing much for you, check and see how the earlier steps outlined in this series are being applied or not applied. That's often the key because there are good, you know, you could say evidence-based techniques or at least anecdotally uh, shown to be useful techniques, but they can be done in such a way where again, you're just using them to try to distract yourself. You're not actually using them to tune more into your own body, your own experience, what you're feeling, helping you bring things into your awareness and instead working in sort of abstract ways, right? Or just sort of tapping on anger in a general sense or, or tapping on money, hoping to get more money without bringing up, okay, what are my specific you know, experiences, beliefs, wounds, painful memories around money? Right. So that's all the earlier steps. What you want to be checking in with processes, because obviously I can't speak to them, there's infinite numbers of them. Are they being used in a way that help with the previous steps? Is the technique you're using, the way you're using it, or the way it's being presented to you, helping you, okay, become more aware of my own actual experience? Again, as opposed to an abstract idea, like just working on money versus What's going on in my body? What are my memories around money? Should be step one. Is this technique helping me feel more safe in my body, more grounded? That's one of the reasons I'll use tapping sometimes, even if doing another technique with someone, because it's just to provide some touch and provide a sense of, okay, here I am helping you feel more safe, right? Safety can't be overemphasized. Um, am I using it to avoid feeling or am I using it to help the feelings come up. And then the mechanics of the technique itself will facilitate the processing. So with EFT, if you're doing clinical EFT, for example, that has a specific way of helping you bring up the memories, helping process through the emotions, right? There's certain types of releasing methods that emphasize, okay, what am I feeling? Where is the desire or wanting coming from? Tuning you into that, letting the emotion come up and move through. Right? So this step four is like, what is the particular framework that that method or technique is using? So that again is up to the individual technique. Our job is to see if it's actually helping with A, our overall goal, right? which is to create actual changes in how we're experiencing life, actually removing our triggers as opposed to just temporarily uh, relieving them. And B, is it you know, helping with the previous steps? Is it something that's in alignment with us helping feel what we're actually feeling, feeling more safe, and so on? So that's how you can kind of use this multi-step process to see, okay, is the process that I'm doing helping the emotions process through my body? So hope that helps, and I will see you on the next and final step.